Hey guys, welcome back to my channel at nagbabalik naman ako and this time this is for the full review for the Mi Tan Lite 5G and finally masasabi ko na rin sa inyo kung okay nga ba at sulit nga ba ang ating Mi Tan Lite 5G. So unahin na natin ang ating display for this phone. As you can see, we have a 6.57 inch AMOLED display with 1080p resolution, 401 ppi density, 413 nits brightness, HDR10+, plus. and what's good thing about this, we have a 20 by 9 aspect ratio kaya mas immersive yung pananood mo ng YouTube, movies, view, Netflix sa ating smartphone. And when it comes to the quality guys, same yung quality niya with the other Xiaomi smartphone or mid-range Xiaomi smartphone na pwede niyo bilhin right now and especially the Mi Note 10 Lite. Same yung quality niya overall very vivid, very colorful ng ating display for the Mi Tan Lite 5G. One thing talaga na na-appreciate ko with Xiaomi is yung design na ginagawa for the camera module as you can see we have a rectangular camera module design for the Mi 10 Lite 5G at least something yung hindi nila inulit yung camera design with the Mi 10 and the Mi 10 Pro although yes sabi na nating na medyo gas gas na gas gas na talaga yung Aurora Blue na color and this is something na hindi naman natin first time na nakita when it comes to the color para sa isang smartphone but overall when it comes to the belt and design sobrang ganda and very good yung quality na ginamit para sa ating smartphone. Tanong ni Ian Abarca, my question, anong difference ng Mi Tan Lite, Mi Tan Youth, and the Mi Tan Lite Zoom, and how much po dito sa Pinas? Regarding sa price, para sa ating Mi Tan Lite 5G, later on, I will give you guys kung magkano nga ba pinibenta ang ating Mi Tan Lite 5G at kung saan ko siya nabili para at least ma-add to cart niya na siya at ma-experience na yung Mi Tan Lite 5G. But regarding sa difference, ang difference ng Mi Tan Lite and the Mi Tan Youth is actually the periscope camera na ginamit for the Mi Tan Youth and for the Mi Tan Youth and the Mi Tan Lite Zoom. Actually, wala naman difference when it comes to the two guys. The only difference is yung Mi Tan Lite Zoom is the global version for the Mi Tan Youth which is the China Roam version. If you're looking for a future-proof smartphone para once ma-roll out ang 5G network sa Pilipinas, is pwede nyo na siya ma-enjoy at ma-maximize ang 5G network sa isang smartphone, then this is something na pwede kong may recommend sa inyo guys as this is powered by a Qualcomm Snapdragon 765G and this phone runs in MIUI 11 based on Android 10 and soon magkakaroon na rin tayo ng MIUI 12 for the Meet and Light 5G and yung GPU natin para sa ating smartphone is Adreno 620. And yung variant na meron tayong available for this phone is the 6GB of RAM and 128GB of internal storage. And also we have a 6GB of RAM and 64GB of internal storage. When it comes to the price later on guys, I'll be telling you kung magkano nga ba ang dalawang variant at saan yung nga ba pwedeng mabili ang ating Mi Tan Lite 5G. So, tanong ni Nika Olag, okay na ba bumili ng 5G dito sa Pilipinas? Maganda po ba ang 5G? Right now, guys, hindi pa talaga natin pwedeng masabi kung maganda ang 5G network or mabilis ang 5G network sa Pilipinas since hindi pa naman talaga na fully roll out ang ating 5G network. But, if you want a future-proof smartphone na pwede ng 5G once ma-roll out ang 5G network dito sa Pilipinas, then again, there's nothing wrong in buying 5G smartphone phone this 2020 for future proof this is something na pwede yung bilhin guys so as requested by Shana Ray Garcia new subscriber here I want to buy this phone saan nyo po nabili yan and sana ma full review nyo gamitin nyo sana ang Asphalt 9 para malaman natin ang totoong performance nya Pati video 4K sana. Hehehe. <laughs> Can't wait for your full review. So, medyo marami yung request ni Shana. But I'm showing you a video right now, Shana, wherein I actually used the Meet and Light 5G in playing the Asphalt 9. Overall, when it comes to the performance, multitasking, games, and social media consumption, this is something that I can actually recommend to you. And I'll be showing you as well the NTP benchmark score na nakuha natin para sa ating Meet and Light. When it comes to the 4K resolution video, later on China, I'll be giving you or showing you a sample 4K video na nakuna po using the Meet and Light 5G. And saan ko nga ba nabili ang phone later on, sasabihin ko rin kung saan ko nga ba nabili at magkano nga ba ang ating Meet and Light 5G.
And for the camera, as you can see, we have a quadruple camera setup for the Meet and Light 5G with a 48 megapixel with f1.8 aperture wide camera, an 8 megapixel with f2.2 aperture ultra wide, a 2 megapixel with f2.4 aperture macro lens, and another 2 megapixel with f2.4 aperture for that sensor. For front or selfie, naman guys, as you can see, we have a notch camera design for the Mate and Light 5G with a 16 megapixel with f2.5 aperture wide camera. So I'll be showing you some sample photos shot using the Mate and Light 5G. So as you can see right now guys, overall very good dynamic range, detailed and sharp yung mga photos na nakunan para sa ating Meet and Light 5G. Yung only feedback ko lang on the camera is the ultra wide. I just hope na mas wider pa yung ultra wide niya para at least mas dramatic yung mga photos while shooting using the ultra wide camera for the Meet and Light 5G. I'm currently showing you a sample video wherein ginamit natin ang 4K resolution at 60 frames per second, 1080p at 30 frames per second na my steady mode, and also yung video recording sa selfie camera. So overall, if you're looking for a smartphone na pwedeng pang vlogging and if you want to start your own channel, then this is something na pwede kong may recommend sa inyo guys. Very good yung quality niya when it comes to videos and also stabilized pa rin naman yung ating mga videos using the meet and light pipe and in the future guys we will have an update for the video wherein you can use the dual video and use the front and rear camera all at the same time in shooting a video and that is actually good if you're a content creator para at least mas maraming option as mas marami kayong pwede magawa sa camera na iyong smartphone. Tanong ni King Pasqua, may LED notification light po ba ang ating Meet and Light 5G? Yes, meron tayong LED notification at nakalagay siya somewhere here. Tanong naman ni Ron Roque, pwede bang pang vlogging ang camera ng Meet and Light 5G? As mentioned a while ago, if you're looking for a smartphone na pwedeng pang vlogging, then this is something na pwede kong may recommend sa inyo guys. Okay na okay yung video quality para sa ating Meet and Light 5G and also very stabilized naman yung mga nakuha nating videos for this phone. Tanong naman ni... Tristan Renera, almost same ba sila ni Mi Note 10 Lite? For the design and display, very different siya because yung Mi Note 10 Lite has a curved display while yung Mi 10 Lite 5G natin has a flat display. For the chipset naman Tristan, ang ginamit na chipset for the Mi Note 10 Lite is the Snapdragon 730G while yung Mi 10 Lite 5G, ang ginamit naman sa kanya is the Snapdragon 765G. And also for the camera, yung gear natin for the Mi Note 10 Lite 5G uses 64 megapixel as a main camera, while yung Mi 10 Lite 5G uses 48 megapixel as a main camera for the Mi 10 Lite 5G. And gaya nga ng mga tanong ni Raymond Lavron, Unsawa Isama, Arnold um, Dabi Wongs, Robert Escaner, Alvin Santilan, and also Trio Vlog. Magkano ba ang ating Meet and Light 5G at saan mo nga ba pwedeng bilhin ang ating smartphone? 
So yung 6 and 64 gigabyte na variant retails for 16,990 pesos while yung 6 and 128 gigabyte na variant is 17,990 pesos. And nabili ko siya guys sa Lazada. I'll be putting the direct link sa comment section below para at least ma-add to cart na siya at pwede nila siyang mabili and available din ang COD for this. So that's it for our full review para sa ating Mi 10 Lite 5G and yes I would recommend this phone to you guys and if you're looking for a future proof smartphone and kay yung tipong user na 10 years or 5 years bago nyo palitan yung smartphone yun then this is something that I can actually recommend to you since maganda yung camera performance niya okay na okay at very good yung chipset na ginamit para sa ating Meet and Light 5G and overall sobrang okay at maganda yung design para sa ating smartphone so kung nagustuhan nyo ang full review ko for the Meet and Light 5G please don't forget to like this video guys follow me on my social media account and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and tap the bell icon para manotify kayo sa mga future unboxing video ko so once again this is wax from wax attack channel have a great day guys bye guys